The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, ABM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the number one multimedia community on the Internet with more than 4 million unique subscribers. Your host for this evening is Gary Baumgarten, and he just dropped offline for a second. He's going to be back. It'll take a few seconds. And until then, we are going to make the introduction and to talk about what's going to happen during this show. First of all, I want to welcome everybody to News Talk Online on this uh, Tuesday evening. Um, we, I also want to welcome and uh, thank our, uh, our affiliates here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, CRN Digital Talk Radio Network. Hello there, Eric. How you doing? And to uh, uh, Mike Horn, love your show uh, that uh, got started on Monday. Uh, What's cooking? I listened to it uh, this morning also and really enjoyed it. So just want to let you know. So, folks, uh, uh, without further ado, here comes Gary. And I um, hope you enjoyed the show. There you go, Gary. Over to you. Oh, are we on the air, boys? Is our guest ready? Can I Absolutely. do the proper introduction? Can I do the proper introductions? <laughs> Will somebody please talk to the uh, gods of the Internet? Are you like because uh, we were knocked offline here? You can hear me okay now, though, right, boys? Absolutely. You're, you're ready to go. Excellent. We're going to start the webcam up again and see if you can see me as well so we can do the show properly. Okay, uh, Gary, we lost you there for a second, and if we lose you again, we'll just have to uh, go on without you. Uh, we're going to uh, wait another uh, couple of seconds here, and we'll see what happens. I, I know that there we go. Okay, your video's here, but your audio is not here, Gary. <clears throat> uh, so let's get your audio, and your uh, yeah, yeah, my audio? audio is here. Yep, your audio is here. Go okay, ahead. I'm not going to turn on my camera then, because apparently uh, we're having some connectivity issues here. From the Pal Talk studio. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, Pal Talk is the largest multimedia interactive program on the internet with more than 4 million unique users. Uh, and uh, we're on demand on iTunes and on demand on YouTube. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're distributed to uh, radio, uh, to uh, cable systems uh, serving an additional 12 million households. So there are a lot of people that listen to this show uh, now, Boaz. Before we get to our, uh, our show today and our guest, I wondered if you saw this story from the Associated Press that I saw in the New York Post here about the uh, naked uh, rebel leader in Liberia. Do you know about him? Boaz? Okay, I lost my mic. It looks like the internet god is is not in our favor today, Gary. Yeah. Can you please repeat that again? Because yeah. Did you hear I about the, Did you hear about this naked rebel leader in Liberia? This is really not a a joke. This is actually kind of serious. Uh, he he was known as General Butt Naked because he would run into battle only wearing combat boots in order to scare the opposition, and uh, he returned from exile in Ghana to. Uh, confess that he is responsible for 20,000 deaths. And he uh, faced his Homeland's Truth and Reconciliation Commission. 20,000 people he acknowledges he's responsible for their deaths. And listen to his comment, boy, as he says, I could be electrocuted, I could be hanged, I could be given any other punishment, but I think forgiveness and reconciliation is the right way to go. <laughs> I'm thinking, are you kidding me? I find that, I, I don't even know how to find that, Gary, but it, it, that sounds, how, when he says that he, he's responsible for, responsible for 20,000 deaths, what does that mean? Did he lead an army? Yeah, he's a rebel leader. He's a, a leader of the, of, the, of the rebels there in Liberia. And, uh, well, and, he, I, and I he claims he's responsible for 20,000 deaths, and he acknowledges it, and he says, well, I think reconciliation is the answer. Don't electrocute me. Oh, of course not. After he uh, after he put twenty thousand people to death, now he's asking for forgiveness. 
He's waiting, asking for forgiveness and reconciliation. Isn't that unbelievable? Anyway, here's another area where, unfortunately, we have seen too much death, uh, and that's uh, in the fighting between the Israelis and the Palestinians. And uh, as many of you know, probably all of you, that there's been an increase of uh, Palestinian rocket launches of late out of the Gaza into uh, Israel proper. Uh, as you probably know, the Israelis withdrew completely from the Gaza and the areas from which they uh, left, where the settlements were uh, once, uh, they've turned those into uh, launching pads to shoot missiles constantly into Israel. And uh, obviously uh, this is causing there to be a response by the Israelis. The IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, has been increasingly uh, targeting uh, military targets in the Gaza as a reaction. The situation is threatening the foundering peace process. It's putting additional strain on uh, the Olmert administration, which fa faces the real possibility of collapsing uh, because uh, the people there have just had it with uh, the problems coming out of Lebanon, the problems coming out of Gaza, and this administration's seemingly inability to abate it. Uh, we thought it'd be interesting uh, to talk to somebody who lives under those conditions. David Landau is a 19-year-old American who recently uh, moved uh, to Israel. He lives on a kibbutz near the Gaza border. Um, and uh, uh, apparently uh, he has to take precautions uh, in his daily life that he never had to take when he uh, lived here in the United States of America. So I, I, I think the fact that uh, we're joined by a 19-year-old who... Um, uh, gives us a young person's perspective uh, should be quite interesting. So, David Landau, welcome to News Talk Online on PalTalk.com. And Boaz, now I'm not hearing we, uh, the uh, guest. We lost him, but hold on a second, Gary. I'm going to check and see what the deal is here. Okay, well, the rule when we lose the guest is, for those of you who want to talk, you get a second chance to talk when the guest rejoins us. Um, let me just talk about the other side of that issue. Over the weekend, the Israelis closed the border to the Gaza, and uh, the UN agency that oversees humanitarian relief in the Gaza, uh, which normally brings 120 trucks of food and humanitarian supplies across the border, uh, they were turned away. Now that, under international pressure, that blockade was lifted today, Ehud Barak, who was once Prime Minister of Israel and who is now the Defense Minister, today allowed a shipment of fuel, food, and medicine to enter the Gaza. The uh, Palestinians say that uh, the failure of the Israelis to deliver fuel caused for them to turn off all power. Um, the Israelis, by the way, are saying, well, we gave them enough fuel to power the civilian population, but they diverted it to military use and it was their choice, not ours. At any rate, it caused for there to be a lot of, of international condemnation once again of Israel, and so um, they, they uh, rec recanted, they allowed for the delivery of the humanitarian supplies. Fuel includes enough industrial diesel to power the Gaza's uh, single electricity plant for a week. Um, and uh, the weekly fuel uh, shipments, according to the European Union, which negotiated this, uh, will continue. So although Israel says that they will uh, review it on a weekly basis, I think Israel is in a very unusual circumstance because there have been so many uh, missiles fired into Israel. Uh, and then they try to respond militarily. They get uh, criticized for that. They try to 